Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP Daily for October 11th, 2012. Okay, so let's start off the day with some iPod Touch news. First of all, iFixit got its hands on the fifth generation iPod Touch and as usual did a complete teardown showing everybody the internals of what makes this new iPod Touch tick. Some of the highlights include a 1030 milliamp hour battery, an A5 processor with 512 megabytes of RAM, and a 5 megapixel camera. If you're interested in the iPod Touch or just you know how to build a device in general, you can check out the full teardown in the link in the description down below. Okay, moving on, the iPhone 5 is an exciting device, but it's not the only new phone on the block. The LG Nexus phone is getting a lot of hype recently, and for good reason. It's a powerhouse device with a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, and a 1280 by 768 display, which is really, really great. So if you're interested, or maybe you're on the fence about whether you want to go the Apple iPhone route or the LG Nexus route, uh, you can check out a comparison of these devices, just how they look and how they stack up to each other, uh, also in the description down below. Uh, personally, at this point, I think both devices are really amazing at what they're trying to do. There's not much to complain about with this level of specs and build quality and stuff, so it really just just comes down to which operating system and which environment you prefer. Personally, for me, I like Apple's operating system, I like iOS, I like the whole iTunes environment, so that's what I'm going to go with. But for many of you out there, the LG Nexus could be a viable option, so it's definitely worth taking a look at. Moving on, we have to talk about the iPad Mini just because it's in the headlines so much this week. First of all, someone leaked to Apple Insider uh, directions on how to set up iPad Mini displays in retail stores. Now, there's no way of knowing where this came from and what store it was supposed to be for, and even if it's legit or not, uh, but it does lend credence to the fact that, you know, retail stores or some companies or someone out there is uh, worrying or paying attention to how they will market the iPad mini accessories once the device launches. Now this is interesting to consider because also today a bunch of reports came out saying that iPad mini production was delayed due to strikes at Foxconn's plant. So we don't even know if this device is real yet and it's already getting a pushed back release date. You may or may not know that uh, Apple was reportedly supposed to send out invitations for an iPad mini event yesterday, October 10th, which obviously did not happen. So. Uh, Everything with the iPad mini is totally up in the air right now. All right, thank you very much for watching. That's all the big news for today. Your question of the day today is, what is the deciding factor for you when you're buying a new device? Is it the build quality? Is it the brand name? Is it the operating system? Um, or any combination of the three or something else? So you can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below, so definitely check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to head over to todaysiphone.com.